What's up guys, Ace the Heart here back again with another reaction and guys today we have a uh, another Bilber reaction along with me is Dice React Famous Dice Reacts. Of course guys you've seen him a lot on this channel here. Of course uh get used to it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so today we're gonna be looking at Bill Burr Epidemic of Gold Digging <laughs> The name alone tells you it's uh, gonna be pretty darn interesting for sure. Uh, just to know that I have not seen that as yet. Uh, the only person who's seen that, of course, is Dice right here, and he's uh, the one who introduced me to Bill Burr. So, of course, I know uh, if it's Bill Burr, it's quality. And, of course, I'm gonna he's gonna enjoy it just the way I am. <laughs> so, Bill Burr's gonna be preaching it today. <laughs> preaching to the choir. <laughs> So guys, let's not waste too much time and let's get into this. Why would why wouldn't as a why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe, look at the shit he's going through right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the guy's getting peace, a divorce. Yeah. His wife's gonna get 70 million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. <laughs> you know, can anybody explain? These divorce settlements, can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. Man. She's a lot. babysitter worth a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. That's a pretty Somebody, lot. go ahead. Somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it. What, what, he cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension, right? Get that 10 years in? <laughs> I, I mean, you, you, know, you know what he's talking about here, about there, when he's talking about she's trying to get that 10 years in. You have no idea? I, like, what uh, are you referring to, the reason why he said that? He, yeah, explain, I, I, I probably have the wrong idea. The, the reason he said that because in the States, like in America, for example, like Illinois, California, those states has um alimony oh yeah yeah and yeah alimony yeah. you need to ha be married for at least 10 years you know to get, up, get it wow so that's what they say in there oh yeah yeah that's that's a real like wow that's determination that's what i call determination trying to get a pension yeah like man guys <laughs> <laughs> i don't know maybe that's too harsh that shit bothers me man Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. Right? Every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. <laughs> every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. <laughs> How many? How many more great men are gonna get chopped in half before we do something? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? A, I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? Yeah, yeah. So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Uh. Mm. Yeah, mm. they are. Except we don't have that Rihanna yeah. lumped up photo in the end. <laughs> so it's not obvious. Of course, you know, what uh, he's saying here is, like, of course, he's absolutely right. You know, like, spot on. man, like, you know, these guys lose a lot of money. A lot. Ridiculous. You know, over 200 million? That, like, for a divorce? Man, for a divorce? Dude. Someone who breached the contract? Nah, oh. man. I'm with 50 cents on that one. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's real. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? <laughs> that is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. Yeah. I gotta tell you, it's just, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. Yeah. You know, people, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. Give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. 
Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw it in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. What? People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy, nobody cares. Yo, Do you think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next no. day? No, 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 no. The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear <laughs> for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come yeah. up with. Just the NFL life. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Yeah. Another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why yeah. was she called yeah. the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. Mm -hmm. Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, mm, right yeah. there. Mm. Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? The giant space between his teeth, I could put this mic cord through? Or do you think maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom? No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? Yeah. And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I? Right? Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up, hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize. I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the way he said that, yeah. like, he's telling the people, like, yeah, I, I'm not a prize, but, yeah. hey, I was telling you. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be, that should have been the height of his success. <laughs> But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Mm. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> he lifts weights, ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No, next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. Yeah. Against all odds, he well, starts he did making he did movies. It. Get yeah. down, there's a bomb, get out of there. <laughs> Because one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. Yeah. What are you going to do next, Arnie? I think I'm mad at Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do yeah. that. Bam, he does it. <laughs> Cherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. <laughs> Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? Exactly. This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Yeah. <laughs> four decades. Nothing but net. Yeah. Bang a maid in my own bed, dude. That's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with the midget. Yeah. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> <laughs> right? I have to say, man, this guy is a genius. A genius. Man, to bring up a topic like that and like, yo, touch is a lot of touchy man. subjects and knows how to make it, you know, yo, this make is, it funny. Like. And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. Coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public servant? <laughs> His legacy is shrouded. Hey. Like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level. I do, right? Yeah. Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Yeah. Because yeah. he fucked Alice? Really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over? 
Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third yeah. attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rosetta How can Stone. I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. Yeah. I yeah. golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? <laughs> no, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's yeah. nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing yeah. to yeah, prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's gonna <laughs> form on the horizon. Right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't mm -hmm. give a shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like yeah. me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. Yeah. <laughs> How the hell would I know? You don't wanna hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24 seven, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. Do it, do it, yeah, do, do it. it. Yeah. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's not you keeping your dick in check, yeah. you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> That's a sick joke. Yo, that is <laughs> ridiculous. Just... The, oh dub, the double entendre there, it's like, it's just amazing, man. Yeah. Wow. Yo. Like, when I first heard that, I was like, wow. Yeah, like, what a, what, a, what a way to put a joke. Imagine that's one of these guys, yo, like, dude. Yeah, because I don't know if you, if you really get it when they say about the Home Depot thing. Mm -hmm. Because you say, like, because hoes don't care about lumber. Mm -hmm. But Home Depot is a place. When they have those things selling, yeah, I know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like it's just wow. Yeah, like, like damn. That way, it's just like so sick, you know. Yeah. Like not that lumber, the other lumber. You know, but yeah, like what? Yeah. <laughs> but the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know that do it, do it, fuck it, do it. You know that wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these horse show up. I'll do it. I'll suck it. I'll yeah, do it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up. All right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Just guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? Yeah, it's true, it's true. They're fucking bums <laughs> sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions yeah. of dollars. Dorito dust, yeah. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. <laughs> No, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away. Just filling your head up with all this useless information. Mm -hmm. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it. Don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness. All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven yeah, minutes or less. Yeah. Don't know a fucking thing about it. <laughs> Even worse, you think it's your friend. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. <laughs> Later. We'll be fine. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over, like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. You have to know that. Dude, your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. <laughs> Everybody, go in standing up. You got nice. it, you got it. Oh shit, there she comes. Slide, slide, slide. <laughs> All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming man, out. Man, man. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Man. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah.
Wow, wow. He knows how to put it. Man. He knows how to put it. But that's amazing. He knows how to put it. Hey, man, every... <laughs> man, I have to say, man. He gives so many different perspectives. Man, every video, every video is just, I'm just amazed by everything that he can do. Wow, wow. <laughs> the lumber thing. I was like, yo, that was brutal. That was twist, that was twisted. But honestly, what he's saying is so true, you know, a lot of like, you know, great men, you know, go through that exact thing and, you know, it's, they lose almost everything, like, yeah, that's just how the way things are, you know, it's, it's very sad, you know, uh, of course, like you said, it's not that he's not saying it's a dumb move, of course it's, it is a dumb move, but, you know, at the same time, it, man, to lose every single thing you have, that's like, wow, and you work for like, what, uh, half a million dollars and all that down the drain just for marriage, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm just picturing that, like, just putting yourself in so, their shoes. Like, like, basically, you know, it, it's just, it's just unfair. Whether it's on the, it's, it's on the, the, the man's side or the female side. To lose so much. Especially, like, the, the alimony thing, I just, I just know. Yeah. The alimony thing. Because the, there is a contract that is, that is signed. The same way if you go to a, a, a bank or something, there is a contract. If you breach the contract, there are going to be penalties. But you can't breach the contract and be rewarded. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Who signs a contract like that? Yeah. In the, in, the, in the real world, it doesn't exist. That doesn't exist in the real world. If I stop paying my 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 loan, you know what's going to happen to me? If I breach a contract? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be in rice and peas. <laughs> Without chicken. <laughs> Behind bars. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, man. Uh, guys, uh, of course, was the billboard reaction here with uh, Dice Reacts. So, guys, want to thank you so much for uh, you know watching this here. Thank you so much for the support from uh, you know both of us, both our channels for sure. We do appreciate that, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, for this uh, video here of billboard was absolutely amazing, wonderful Fantastic. performance. I have to say for sure. So, yes, guys, uh, thank you again. Of course, leave a like, uh, comment below. Let us know what you think. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel for sure to get more content. And, guys, uh, we will see you back. Of course, guys, before I say this, uh, I will leave Dice uh, Reacts' uh, react, sorry, uh, information down below here. So go take a look at his channel. Subscribe to him as well. Show him some love. And, uh, guys, uh, yeah, it's been uh, pretty fun for sure. So, guys, thank you, thank you. And, guys, we will see you next time. Later, guys. Peace out.